Hi everyone. Uh, the human pole. This time we we'll share about uh, the force of the principle and the power of love. Yes. Yes, Adam and Eve. The principle and law. Section 3, the power of love and the power of the principle and God's commandment. Yes. The principle. Human beings are created through the principle. Yes. Human beings are meant to live according to the way of the principle. Yes. Way of principle. Yes, body. Natural law. The way of principle, your yeah, mind also, God's word. Yeah, according to God's word, according to the natural law, the human beings are meant to live according to the way of the principle. Yes. Therefore, the force inherent in the principle cannot induce a person to deviate from the way of the principle and cause him to fall. Yes. Look at that. This may be compared to a train moving forward on its way. The train cannot run off its principal tracks unless some stronger outsider force collide with the train and push it in a different direction. Yes. Principle. In the same way, the force inherent in the principle guides human growth forward in proper direction. Yes. The natural law of God's word. But if some stronger force from different direction and with an unprincipled purpose collides with them, they could surely fall. Yes, look at wow. Yes, love, principle. The force which is stronger than the force of the principle is none other than the power of love. Yes. Why human beings are in the state of the immaturity? It is possible that the power of the unprincipled love can induce them to fall. Yes. Why did God create the power of love stronger than the principle? This opens the possibility of deviant love causing an immature person to fall. Yes. Principle alone does not bring unit. Centering on God and mind and body and union, a four position foundation. Yes. God and man and woman and union. And then centering on God, the people, nature, union. Without God's love, there is no way to establish the true four position foundation, which is the purpose for which we were created. Yes. Love is truly the source and the wellspring of our life and happiness. Yes. Value, belonging, purpose. Yes, principle, order, laws, and truth. Although God creates the human beings based on the principle, He governs us through love. Accordingly, in order for love to fulfill its proper role, its power must be stronger than the power of the principle. Yes. Why did God, Heavenly Parent, nurture the face of Adam and Eve by giving them the commandment? Do not eat of the fruit. God, heavenly parents' commandment was not a test. Rather, it was the protective instruction to nurture their growth. Growing period. Realm of God's indirect dominion. Yes. And then 
Realm of God's direct dominion, human perfection. Uh, perfected love. Immature love. God, Heavenly Parent, foresaw the possibility that they could succumb to the power of deviant, unprincipled love and fall. This possibility exists because the power of love is stronger than the power of the principle. Yes. Don't eat freedom and responsibility. To prevent this, Heavenly Parent God gave Adam and Eve the commandment. Tragically, Adam and Eve did not obey the commandment. Yes. Oh. Hence, the power of the illicit love pushes them off the track. Was God's commandment not to eat of the fruit, uh, binding forever? No. God's second blessing was to be fulfilled when Adam and Eve entered God's direct dominion of love by joining as true husband and wife and bearing and raising children in God's love. It. Indeed, the principle mandates the human beings eat of the fruit once they reach full maturity of character. Yes. Accordingly, God's commandment to not eat of the fruit was binding upon Adam and Eve only while they were immature. Eat. Yes. Now, the serpent was more subtle than any other wild creature that the Lord God had made. Genesis. The serpent said to the woman, You will not die, for God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God. Yes, Genesis. The serpent used the truth, but twisted it to justify the premature use of sexual love. Yes. Wow. Once the conjugal love of Adam and Eve was grounded firmly in God, the imperial love of the archangel could never have severed that bond of love. Yes. End of section 3. The power of love and the power of the principle and God's commandment. Yes. Thank you so much.